how did I learn that the environment really matters? I had the opportunity to sit down with my dad a few years ago and talk to him about things that we didn't talk for a very long time. The things that I experienced while a child, while growing up. And, and to ask him questions that I've always been curious about. So one of them was about this experience that stayed with me for a very long time uh, that I actually witnessed as a child. There was, um, so I grew up during communism and I often say that wasn't as bad as for my parents who had to be adults during communism. Because as a child, I didn't understand half of what was going on. I witnessed a lot of things, but I didn't know the meaning behind them. But my parents, they unfortunately knew the meaning and understood what was going on and had to live through it and protect us children um, as much as they could. So one of these, ex these experiences was that when I witnessed my, my mom um, uncontrollably, desperately crying after my dad left, and of course I didn't understand what was going on, but I remember asking her, mom, what's going on? Why are you so sad? And somehow she she managed to to answer me through her tears and um, her emotions and said, I don't know if I'm going to see your dad again. And again, as a child, I was told parents always come back. They leave, they go to work, they go to get food, to go buy groceries, to, they go places, but they come back. So this stuck with me because this was a sentence that was against what I was, I was told and taught all my life. And she didn't say anything else. Um, she just went back crying. My dad did come back months later, but for months we were alone, me, my brother, and my mom. And my mom was in this fog, in this sadness um, that wouldn't go away. And as a child, you know, I didn't know the words depression and anxiety and and so forth. I just knew she was sad. She wasn't with me, wasn't happy. And I started questioning, you know, is it me? Is it my fault? And so um, definitely left the mark. So as I said, I had the opportunity to talk to my dad about this experience because I wanted to ask where he went because we never talked about it. So I asked him, I shared with him my side of the story and um, I gave him the opportunity to respond. And he was very graceful and of course loving and kind as he always has been and shared his side of the story with me. He shared with me that during communism, men, were asked to to join um, work camps. They were so-called sent to work invite, meaning sent to work camps far away, and most of them did not return. So I asked, so how come you did? <laughs> Very naively, and at the same time, I wanted to hear how he managed through. Again, he smiled, looked at me, understood my question, took a breath and said, well, it was really hard, Andrea. When I arrived, I didn't know if I'm going to make it back either. None of us knew. It was, I think, part of what was scary and how uh, the communists controlled us, that they didn't tell us a lot of things, rumors, uh, made us be very scared. So when I arrived, I, I definitely wanted to make make it back to you, to your mom. So that's all what was in my head. I want to make it back no matter what. But then as I was put 
together in a group in in a, in, in this group uh, with other with other men, um, I noticed that doing everything was not what I wanted to do because these men started cheating, lying, um, beating others just so that they can get ahead, maybe get a better meal, um, get a better uh, bed, just get something that is was very temporary. Still no sign that they're going to make it, uh, make it out, but they they were willing to step on each other on on others backs and do that and that's where i decided it is not okay to do everything to make it back because andrea if i can tell you just one thing as as you're ramping up your life in the united states and you are in a new environment with new people the environment really matters I realized that if I stay with these group of people who are, again, cheating, lying, stealing, then I will become one of them. I won't even notice that I am doing the same. I'm cheating, I'm lying, and I'm stealing. And I didn't want to be, I didn't want to become that person. So I found a way. I looked for for ways where I can I can work somewhere else where I can I can ask someone uh, the commander to to go and work somewhere else. And luckily I found a commander like that and I was fortunate that uh he said yes. So I was able to join a different group where people were more more hmm more concerned about all of us making it through rather than them individually indivi them as individuals making it through and and that is how i survived and that is how i was able to come back to you and your mom and i'm sorry for you experiencing what you have experienced it was something that um it was out of my control and I felt so grateful that he shared those that story and those words with me and his wisdom with me. I got a little emotional just thinking about it because, I mean, literally his life was on the line and probably our lives as well. Um, so I'm, I'm happy that he returned and I'm happy that I had the courage to ask him years later as an adult to share with me because I have learned and I, I want to share this with you that if if you are in an environment where you feel that this is not who you are, this is not who you want to become, then it's time for you to to look outside, find ways, and there's always a commander, there's always somebody very close to you who's willing to to give you that lifeline, um, another opportunity. Um, just like my dad said, it was the others could have made it out too, but they weren't looking. So part of part of surviving and and part of um, getting out of a uh, toxic environment is that you realize that you want out. So that's number one. You make the decision and then you will start seeing things that otherwise you became blind to because of the group mentality. So if you feel like there is no way out right now, um, it might be because you just haven't decided yet and haven't looked in in that way with the intention to get out yet so i'm current i encourage you to 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 start doing that um thanks for listening <laughs>